All right. So again, this is all kind of personal preference. Uh, I'm not that experienced with the game yet, um, but this is just kind of general game knowledge and um, just shooters in general that I've played. Uh, and that's kind of what I use to decide what to pick. Um, so yeah, we're going to go left to right. We'll start over here, go through all these because they're going to affect stuff over here. And then we'll probably go skills uh, last just because that's that's something that's a little more min maxi that you'll eventually get to. Um, but for now, it's just kind of kind of what we have goes in there. Um, but yeah, first couple again, um, whatever you, you, you have to take them, right? Uh, so a little extra armor, a little extra stamina. And then we get into this where uh, ability cooldown speeds up by minus three seconds. So your main ability is going to cool down a little bit quicker or you take 25 stamina. Again, we can manage our stamina pretty well with our stimulants. Um, and then with our snug fit, especially we get that extra stamina regen there. We don't really need 25 extra stamina. So I'd rather my ability just be able to come back up a little bit quicker. Again, another one here that, uh, we don't really have a choice, but reduces the cost of our ability, which is always nice. Um, I play mostly showdown, so I don't find that either of the reserves I really need, uh, especially plates. I tend to always have plates and I usually always have stims by the end of a game. Um, so straight up, just take an extra grenade. Why not? The grenades are actually pretty good too. So, uh, another one, you don't really have a choice, but, um, when you get revived by a teammate, you get an extra 10 HP when you get back up. Uh, this one, we got ability cooldown speeds up by minus five seconds. Uh, and then we've got reduces activation cost. The cooldown is already pretty quick. Uh, what do we have right now? 22 seconds. There's There might be some other ones that make that a little quicker too. Uh, and that's why, but it's already pretty, qu uh, pretty quick at 22 seconds. You're probably going to be able to use it multiple times in a round, two, three times in a round. So you don't really need it five seconds quicker. Um, so just straight up, again, this helps us manage our stamina as well. Minus 25 SP to use it is pretty significant. Uh, what's the cost at right now? 35. Uh, again, we might have some more in here that affect that, but 35 stamina is pretty insignificant when you're running stuff like snug fit and you got stimulants as well. Um, this one, another one you don't really have a choice on, but when an enemy destroys your uh, decoy, you're gonna gain 40 stamina. Pretty nice. Uh, here we get into our special trait for our grenade um, Special trait target suffered uh, Targets affected by the special gear suffer from bleeding. So if they get hit by your grenade, they bleed um, And it's eight damage a second for five seconds. So obviously that's what I have here But the other one's 75 stamina. It's I mean, it's a significant amount of stamina, but Having the bleed on your grenades is just way more way more valuable um, that way, if they do get away or whatever, they're going to bleed out a whole bunch too. And it just ticks them down. Um, then we move on to here. So the top one, uh, stamina restored uh, increased for elimination of the target that attacked the decoy. <laughs> the wording is a little weird sometimes. Um, so I think this is like if you kill whoever uh, attacked your decoy, you get 30 SP. Which, I mean, is kind of nice, but uh, I just went with the effect duration. So the effect duration is that when somebody shoots it or when somebody destroys it, if they shoot it, they get marked. If they destroy it, their entire team gets marked. Um, so this is just an extra two seconds of being marked, which is it's nice to have that information. A little bit nicer than getting SP back just because... I don't really struggle with SP usually. We usually have plenty. Um, as long as you're popping stims, like as soon as the round starts, I pop a stim. Um, by the time the round starts, I'm usually either moving towards the ammo crate to loot that or moving to wherever I need to go. And we usually have the stim uh, go off and we're not really hindered at all. So don't really need stamina. Um, again, I don't really take reserves ever. 
Uh, I don't think any of my characters I've ever taken the reserves. I just don't see the need, uh, especially when I mainly play showdown. You just don't need it. So again, an extra grenade that puts us at what? Four? Four grenades is pretty awesome. Uh, another one you don't have any real control over. Just five seconds reduced off your uh, ability cooldown again. Um, here, special trait, opponents within five meters of the decoy become marked. So with this, if your decoy is just chilling there, um, if somebody walks by it within five meters, they become marked. It could be nice if you put it on the flank behind a wall or something and they stay close to the wall and come up on it. Like five meters isn't really that big of a uh, radius, but it, it could be something. But the other one here, uh, if the decoy is destroyed by an enemy, the operator's movement speed increases. So if they destroy it, I get 25% movement speed for eight seconds, which is kind of nice, especially as an assault when you're usually trying to flank and get behind him and maneuver and stuff. I figured this was kind of a no-brainer. Uh, here, we got decoy duration increased by 10 seconds. The decoy already lasts a full minute. Um, I really didn't see a need to get an extra 10 seconds. So instead, uh, if a teammate um, kills somebody that attacked the dummy, they gain 50 stamina. So um, I don't really get a benefit out of it, but it does help my teammates if they do kill that person they get some stamina back which is nice to help out your team um and then lastly we get the ability cooldown speed again minus 15 seconds a little more significant this time uh and then the other thing is 125 stamina again a good chunk of stamina but i have not struggled at all with 525 stamina uh so i just went with the uh with the cooldown speed so again we got it down to 22 seconds so I don't usually pop it more than like once or twice in a round, but you never know. Sometimes you might pop it three times. Uh, I forget how long rounds actually last, but uh, either way, nice short cooldown on it. Uh, and then this stuff is all just kind of whatever. It's just I use all the attachments. So uh, some some characters, I'll take certain attachments off if I don't like the optic on it or whatever. But for the most part, I just have all the attachments on. Um, so the gun. 18 damage body, uh, 36 to the head, 55% uh, pen, uh, decent decent amount of pen. Uh, with the upgrades to mags, uh, actually, is there even an upgrade? I guess you just, you naturally get five 30 round magazines, which feel usually like enough. Um, and then 13 shots per second, so it's pretty quick. Uh, I don't know what the fastest gun in the game is, but uh, I think I've seen like 16 and stuff. So there's there's faster guns, but for an assault rifle um, and at pre pretty decent range at 38 meters, um, it's it's a solid gun and there's not a ton of recoil on it. It, it feels nice to shoot. Um, probably one of the nicer guns that I've shot. Um, and then yeah, 2.8 reload speed, whatever. So yeah, your grenades, 100 damage, 60% pen, uh, 5.6 meter radius, decent size radius. Uh, and then you get four of them with the upgrades. Yeah, grenades. Grenades are just nice to have. And again, we have the bleeding upgrade on them as well. So 100 damage plus the uh, the bleed is always nice. Um, so yeah, fan of those. Uh, and then, yeah, so the decoy itself, again, with all our upgrades and stuff, we got a 60 second uh, duration, uh, 22 second cooldown. And then a 35 uh, SP cost. Um, reading this is kind of whatever. Basically, what you do is you send out a decoy. Uh, it doesn't move. It kind of T-poses. You know, it stands like a dude that's just standing still aiming his gun. And it slides across the ground. Its feet don't move or anything. So it kind of... If you're not smart with how you use it, people can kind of spot it. If you see something running down the road, like not moving... It's probably a decoy and you should be careful not to shoot it. Um, so I think in that sense, it makes it, uh, it makes you have to be a little bit smarter with how you use it. Placing it on corners, uh, even just like in surprise corners on your flank or something. If somebody comes around the corner, they're not going to really think uh, too long about whether or not they want to shoot. They just see somebody and shoot at, uh, at it. So it can potentially be used to cover your flanks and stuff like that. Um, 
And the nice thing is, uh, the enemies see the decoy as a real opponent. So, uh, for those of you who have played, you've seen um, when a, a character gets spotted, they have their little class icon above their head. They get the red outline and stuff like that. They will see this decoy exactly like that. It'll look like me. It'll look like a, an assault with a red outline. It'll look like Plu. Um, so, obviously, if they tag our entire team and see two... Uh, two assaults. Obviously, they know one is a decoy. The one that's running around moving is probably not the decoy. Uh, so you can they can use that for information. So again, you kind of have to use it intelligently. You can't just throw it out there and it's going to debate everybody to, to shoot it. Uh, you have to be somewhat smart with how you use it. But um, I'm curious how it's going to go in like higher ranks if people fall for it as much. Um, but there's a lot of different ways you could potentially use it too. Like if you put it down um, and you sit behind it and you like kind of lean to the side a bit because you can blow it up too, which you obviously don't want to. But um, if you kind of lean to the side of it a bit, you can take shots at people and try and bait them into shooting back and potentially destroying it. Because again, destroying it is the big one because it marks the entire team. Um, and that's that's pretty big. And it doesn't say it in here. Um, a lot of the mark stuff, like on Corsair or whatever, it'll say the uh, the the enemy is marked, but only the operator can see it. So only your character would be able to see it. It doesn't say that on here. So I think when they destroy this, my entire team gets that information, which is huge. Um, so yeah, it just kind of forces you to be uh, a little more creative and clever with this decoy. Um, setting it up on a corner as if it's somebody peeking around the corner holding an angle you know um you got to try and be creative with it to uh, to get good effect with it um but i am kind of curious how um how it's going to do in higher ranks against smarter players um because you can kind of tell if you're if you're smart enough uh and you're aware enough you can kind of tell when it's a decoy because it just doesn't move at all um i'm pretty sure even when you're running your your character's upper body moves too this one just it straight up just slides across uh the ground um another another kind of way you can use it too is let's say you're fighting some dude around a corner right you guys you're pretty close range um i've done it before i'll send my decoy out just straight out into the open and in that heat of the moment, kind of close quarters, no real time to think, it goes out, they shoot it, I wrap and shoot them as they're shooting it, or even just it forces them to shoot it because it, they think it's me coming around the corner, and then it marks their whole team. So again, it's, it's nice that you have to be kind of creative with it yourself. You're not just gonna get free, people freely shooting it. Um, Again, if you start running into smart players, uh, you have to try and up your game and be a little more clever with it. Uh, and I kind of like that. I like the the gamesmanship of um, of how his decoy works. Uh, so we'll try and jump into a game here and just do some. Uh, most of the videos I've seen don't do live commentary; they just show gameplay. Um, but something I kind of pride myself on is. I try and talk a lot about what my thought process is in the moment, like why I'm flanking a certain way, stuff like that. So I'll try and be extra descriptive here as well. Um, man, these guys all have matching icons. I wonder if it's a three stack. Um, but yeah, I'll try and be extra descriptive here with what I'm doing um, and why I'm doing it and stuff like that. Uh, so when I play Assault, I tend to be a little more aggressively flanking um, as often as I can be. Oh, I didn't even go over skills. Snug fit. That's the main one. Um, we'll come back, though. I forgot I have a, a whole list of potential skills that we could uh, we could slot in here. Um, jump back into that after, after this. But snug fit... Uh, just because it goes on everybody, whether it's a support or an assault. Uh, I don't know about uh, marksman or 
medics as much, but I mean, everybody's got stamina issues and snug fits just really good. We'll go into more detail about snug fit um, when we get to that, uh, when we get through this, this game. Um, but yeah, snug fits really good and it's just kind of universal. It fits on so many different characters. Pause that. So I have specific ways I like to go on on certain maps and stuff. Just kind of habitual paths I take. I think I'm going to go this way. If I'm where I think I am. Yeah, so I'm going to try and put a dude right here. One of my decoys right there. You can see how he kind of slides. So, oh, he's going to keep going. I was hoping he'd kind of hold that angle for me, but... Support right side. Here's somebody up here. Of the gunshots. Shit. Marksman, get down. I made a. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna go as far as I wanted it. Yeah. Marksman in. Uh, I'll try to ping it. Medic's dead on me. There's only one left. Alright. Could be the marksman. Last scene on here. Yeah. Oh, he's right below me. He's right, right under this. On the way. Uh, I don't know if they ended up shooting that at all, but, uh, there you go. See, plenty of stamina. Uh, I might actually grab some ammo here. We did shoot quite a bit. Uh, but I'm going to try and go the same, same path here. Uh, see if I can get this to stick a little bit better this time. Right on this corner here. That might be a little more jabaty. So I just try and get information. So there's two over there. I don't know. There's their assault as well. So we don't know where their medic yeah. is. Kind of hard flank here. Try and get in behind them. Just need them to hold. That support is low. Medic's running in the middle of the field. Got their marksman uh, down. They're coming around the them. rest of them. Alright. Medic and support, same spot. Assault down, keep fire. We're gonna flank. Support down. One left medic right in front of me here. Nice. Good. Cardia, no way you <laughs> have. Zero damage, bro. Shit. Oh shit, I thought he was a uh, bishop for a second there. Alright, we'll pop some stamina. See again, I just like to pop it at the very start. That way it's gonna, um, it's gonna use up my stamina while I'm, uh, or it's gonna regen my stamina while I'm running. Let's see if he stops this time. Nope, he's gonna keep going. I hear one left side. Yeah, yeah. Assault up far left side. Over by me. I did not expect him to be up there. She's gonna go down here. She had her. She popped her ability though. Uh, supports on her. Not reviving Thank yet you. though. Damn. I should have backed shooting. off. And I'll come over. Watch the spot. <laughs> should I get the drone? Enemy support. Enemy medic. So always try and be marking your teammates too. Oh, oh nice try. Um, always trying to be marking for your teammates as well. Um, get those live pings because those are huge. Damn, we were one one round away from the not dying thing too. You Unfortunate. To win. What? Oh, I already got this one. Fuck. Unfortunately, Afila there had her ability pop, so I couldn't kill her. Oh, well, there they all are. You, you guys see that, all right. right? Go. Oh, God. Medic, over here. Throwing the frags. That's where I want to do Thank you, sir. Releasing drone. Oh, 
they're behind us uh, on the left side here. so fast. One's reviving right here. Medic's back up. Wait, how did I die? How the hell did I die there? I thought once I go down, I... What the hell? Mm -mm -mm. All right. We need ammo. Final round. Um, so they really seem to like to go up there. So let's do this. I'm gonna go hard around. They were all together that time. I'm gonna go. Oh. Fuck. He's low. Oh, I'm bad? I'm bad? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. There's just no footsteps in this game, man. It's unfortunate. I didn't hear him coming. There are no footsteps in this game. But anyway, eight kills, thousand damage. Um yeah, you kind of saw, you just got to try and put your, your decoys in, uh, in kind of clever spots that are just going to kind of force them to shoot it or just hesitate or whatever. All of that is good. Um, and again, throwing them out around the corners. Again, just be, be smart with them, with how you use them. Um, but yeah, let's go back real quick to the skills now. Uh, so let me get my little little list open here because uh, I have a few in each category again I'm still pretty new to the game so I'm kind of uh, experimenting with what I want in each category so we'll start with physical fitness uh, Chang Long uh, who's a marksman um, right here shooting posture so the operator takes a stable position blah 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 uh, it and covers their silhouette as much as possible uh, while aiming so we're gonna look at the last number because that's usually the maxed out everybody's going for the min max you want to eventually get to that last bit so after 0.5 seconds uh of entering aim mode which is you're just adsing looking down your sights uh the operator receives 15 percent less firearms and explosion damage so anytime you're aiming you're taking after 0.5 seconds which isn't very long you're taking 15 percent less firearms uh and explosion damage which i think is probably pretty decent for um Somebody that's up in the shit fighting. Uh, so that's one of the options I'm kind of looking at. Uh, the other one is Zuber's R&R. &R. So Zuber is a uh, support operator. Um, a well-rested soldier, blah, blah, blah. While their stamina pool is over 300, the, uh, the operator is immune to becoming stunned, slowed, trapped, or stiff. So a lot of the CC stuff uh, you're immune to as long as you're over 300 stamina. So you saw in that game, most of the time we were pretty well topped up on stamina. Um, so it's pretty easy to be uh, at the 300 mark or over for this to take effect. And then again, getting stunned, getting slowed, all that stuff is terrible. You don't want that. So having something like this to negate that, I think is pretty good. Um, and those were kind of the main two that I was looking at for physical fitness. Right now, I just have this thing where if I'm sprinting, I take 15% less damage, whatever. Um, I'm only using it just because it's already max level. Um, but then we move on to protective materials. So again, Snug Fit from Velour, who's a medic. Um, while the operator is at full armor, they recover stamina faster, which again, stamina is your biggest resource that you're going to be fighting for. Um, so having any way to regen that this at max level is eight stamina per second uh, Just that alone almost negates the sprints uh, sprint stamina usage So you're constantly regening that stamina back and it just helps keep you topped up um, And again, it helps would help you with stuff like uh, Zuber's R&R &R. uh, but especially in um, Showdown where every round your armor gets refilled again 
you're going to be, as soon as that round starts, you're now regenning stamina. So all that little lead up, whether I'm doing a stamina thing or grabbing some ammo, all that time while I have full armor that I just get automatically at the start of the round, I'm regenning stamina. And it just, it just keeps you topped up. Um, and then something you gotta obviously keep in mind, that's only when you have full armor. So even if you take a little tiny dink to your armor, uh, you're not going to get that regen. So you want to make sure you're, you're topping up uh, with your plates. And that's obviously why we have plates. Um, I don't think you really need ammo as long as you're uh, aware of where the ammo crates are and you're grabbing them. Even in between rounds, that's something a lot of people don't necessarily do is you can stim, you can... Uh, do finishers, you can grab ammo, all while you're in that victory screen, uh, screen waiting for the next round to start. So take advantage of that. Um, what else do I have? Uh, another one is Subdermal Morphine uh, from Travnik, uh, which is this one. Uh, he is a medic, I believe. Um, slowly restores a portion of health when the operator's armor is destroyed. So duration of 5 seconds, you get 40 HP over those 5 seconds. Uh, so I thought this was kind of nice uh, in that, again, every round your armor's refreshed, so you're always going to have that effect uh, at least once in that round. Well, it only activates once per round, but you're, every round you'll be able to get that effect. So they pop your armor, you now regen 40 HP. And the nice thing about that too is if they are breaking your armor, they're doing damage to your health as well. So you're going to start regening that health as well immediately. Um, and it just can potentially help you save or help save you against taking a few extra shots and keep you alive so you can get into cover and then replay and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think I'd replace snug fit with that necessarily, but it was just something I had an eye on, just something that was a potential. Uh, we got stimulant medications as well, which is right here from Shirsh yet. Uh, using the first aid kit reserve restores stamina as well as HP. Uh, stamina recovery is 140 over three seconds. Uh, cooldown between uses is 40 seconds. Um, and then the, uh, activation goes up to four seconds instead of, instead of three. Um, I think, I think that's kind of how it works. Uh, but yeah, I just, another one I thought was kind of nice. So if you feel like you're good enough, uh, on, uh, stamina that you don't really need to bring stims, I might actually try it on him um, at some point, but if you feel like you don't really need the stamina, uh, the the syringes, I think the stamina syringes give you 210 over like four seconds. Uh, obviously, you're not getting as much here, but you're also able to bring first aid kits, so now you can heal uh, and get health back while you're getting stamina as well. So I thought this was potentially another thing. It's going to be really hard for me to replace snug fit with anything but again just uh options that uh, you might have some people might have these operators already and not have velour so potential replacements there moving on to weapon systems uh we've got archer uh which is where's archer archer the marksman right here um armor piercing rounds standard ammo for primary weapons replaced with an armor piercing variant Pretty simple stuff here. Max level gives you 15% increased armor penetration. So I go from 55 to 70 armor pen. Um, and just for some quick math, for those of you who don't know how the armor pen works, it's basically just a, a percentage, right? So we'll take the 18, our 18 damage. Uh, and what we do is we multiply it by the percentage, right? So 18 times 0.55. We're doing 9.9 .9 damage to the body through armor. So as long as they have armor, we're doing 9.9 .9 damage. That said, with the increase to 70, we do 18 times 0.7, and that brings us up to 12.6. So, so we go from 9.9 .9 damage per shot to the body to 12.6, which is a pretty significant jump. Um, so yeah, I thought it was kind of a, a nice little thing. Just super simple. Just increase your armor pen with your gun. Um, can be nice too if you have lower armor pen already. Uh, you might want to get that up a little bit. Um, and especially for lower damage guns, it's nice to force some extra damage through. So that was an option there. Uh, and then what else we got here? Uh, Freyer with enhanced stimulants. Um, where is that? Enhanced stimulants right here. Yeah, Freyer. 
Uh, Freyer is a... Mm, he's either a medic or a marksman. I forget. I think he's a medic. Uh, but applying stimulant reserve restores more stamina. While the reserve is active, the operator takes less damage. Uh, so stamina goes from... So it's talking about the stamina syringes, which again, I think it's 210 per use. Uh, this is going to add another 120 on top of that. And you're going to get 10% damage resistance for that duration, which those syringes last for four seconds. Um, so obviously when you're using it at the start of the round might not be as effective, but my thought here was in the middle of combat, if you need stamina, you pop that syringe, you're now getting that 10 to 10% uh, damage resistance while you're regening that stamina also. Um, and I just thought it was a nice little option. So you pop that stim, you go right into combat. You're now taking 10% less damage. Seems decent enough. Uh, and then the last one for weapon systems was Pharaoh with heavy barrel. Uh, so a thicker barrel for primary weapon increase uh, increases its damage, but has also its recoil. So at max uh, max level, 10% damage increase is, is damage increase. And then 40% recoil increase um, can be a lot if your gun has a lot of recoil. But if you've got a pretty low recoil gun and this gun is a kind of low recoil gun, it doesn't really kick very much. Uh, the trade off could be worth it. Um, so again, something you'd want to test, uh, this isn't necessarily going to work for every operator, but something worth potentially testing if you have Pharaoh and the, uh, the skill unlocked, you can put that on, go into the training range, try that out. Um, but just another one I kind of thought of. And then lastly, into combat tactics, we had a couple here. Um, I might have to go over them again at some point and have a look, but, uh, first of all, I had Tibet with sure step. Um, so again, another super simple thing, but minus 25% stamina activation cost. So his is nine, 25% of that. I'm not going to do the math, but again, stamina is such a huge resource that a lot of people fight through. Um, and that's going to be the main thing you're trying to keep topped up health and stuff that regens at the start of a round. You got medics for that, but stamina is your main resource. That's your ability to use, uh, your abilities. Um, and that's your, your running around all that stuff. So stamina uh, especially on heavier characters that use a lot more stamina, this could be pretty effective. But again, a nice simple one there. Um, oh, and the main one I'm looking at is uh, Blood Rage with Starkar, Starkadar. Starkadar. Um, upon executing an enemy, the operator replenishes HP and stamina. So at max level, 30 HP over 5 seconds and 100 stamina over 5 seconds. So again, it kind of goes back to those finisher screens, the victory screens after a round. Uh, while you're waiting to go back to the to the next round, uh, you, you finish somebody and you start regening health and the, the health doesn't matter as much. Uh, you start regening that stamina during that screen. And then just in combat, if you can get somebody into a spot where they're away from their team and you can safely execute them, you're now healing. You're now getting stamina. Seems really good to have in a uh, in a fight. That's probably going to be the main one I aim for here with him. Um, another one I kind of thought about it wasn't really on my list, but just kind of I thought about it uh, was Lazuchik. Uh, dropping from heights causes less damage. The operator isn't slowed upon landing. So I'm mainly looking at the max level. You take no fall damage and you're not slowed. Um, there are certain spots, if you haven't noticed, that when you're dropping off like a ledge or something, uh, it's either yellow, which means you're not going to take fall damage, or it's red, which means you are going to take fall damage. Just something to keep in mind. So this... There's some certain maps where it'd be nice to be able to drop off a ledge and not take fall damage um, just for rotations and stuff. Uh, but I'm not sure if this would end up finding a way into my my loadouts, but it was just a kind of a thought I had. Um, yeah, just thought it was something worth considering at least. But I think this is going to be my main focus next just because I don't really have a good um skill in this slot yet that'll probably be the next um personal skill i try and unlock um because everything else i'm i'm mostly happy with it i can tolerate having these for now they're good enough um but this this is just damage reduction while i'm doing executions which if you're doing executions in an unsafe spot where you're gonna get shot anyway you probably shouldn't be um this can easily be avoided by just not executing people in bad spots um so yeah having this in those 
in tight rounds where you need heals, just execute somebody and get some healing back. Um, but yeah, that is kind of uh, my loadout here with uh, Plute. Um, this could probably apply, a lot of this stuff could probably apply to other assaults as well. Um, I think the same with all these skills and stuff. There might be some stuff you move around a little bit for other specific ones, but for the most part, all my assaults are probably going to be running the same kit, at least the assaults I have right now. And then again here, reserves, I don't really bring first aid, um, especially if I get that um, the regen from executions, we shouldn't need it and just stick with the stims and keep regening. Make sure that's always topped up. And then I always bring armor plates. Again, the fact that you can use ammo crates in between rounds, um, and as long as you're on top of that and making sure you use it at the right time and stuff, you can go, you can usually go around, skip around without getting ammo, if, as long as you're like accurate and you're not just dumping mags. Um, as long as you're efficient with your ammo, you shouldn't need uh, the ammo thing. So having plates, again, to help with snug fit as well, keeping yourself topped up, that's kind of the way to go. Uh, but yeah, I, I really like Plute. One of my favorite operators right now. Um, the first one I was able to get to 15 and kind of my go-to when I play. But yeah, thought I'd do a little, little overview of him and kind of get some information out there. There we go. Um... Lou, sorry, I couldn't see your name. Sorry, I was uh, I was kind of recording that or doing that to record to put on YouTube. So I didn't really want to uh, stop in the middle of it, you know. Uh, but just discovered this game and this stream. Still don't get everything, but think it has potential. Nice content, bro. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm still pretty new myself. I've only been playing for about a week or so. Um... But yeah, we're still kind of learning ourselves. Uh, I do play a lot of shooters though, so I think that kind of carries over to it. But um, yeah, we're still still kind of learning ourselves. But uh, if there is anything I can I can help with, feel free to ask. And thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, I agree. Um, there there's a lot of stuff I don't quite like about it, but. Um, there, there's a certain uh, charm to it that I do like that kind of keeps me coming back. And it's just like nice learning a new game, even though it's not that new. It's new on Steam, but I'm pretty sure it's been out for like five years or something already. Um, but yeah, it's nice learning something new to me, at least. Oh, my friggin' throat's dry from all that talking now. Talking is hard. Talking is too hard. I'm out of breath. Uh, I am too out of shape for talking. God damn. Try and jump back in here and uh, see if we can do this without dying. To me, it feels like a mobile game, but can't stop playing for any reason. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about that before. There's there's certain things like at right now, I've done my weeklies, I've done my dailies, and the credit the credit grind now just sucks. It really, really sucks. Like I can't afford anything right now. I can't afford to level my characters or anything like that, and it feels really bad. Um, and it's just like a mobile game where I feel like I'm forced to kind of step away. Uh, I personally don't find the game that interesting that I want to just straight up grind it constantly. It's not like Rainbow Six Siege where there's always different attacks and different setups for defense and stuff like that. It's just you go in and you shoot people. It's it's pretty basic. The, the real depth and strategy is behind the operators. And when you're super restricted and you can't buy new ones to try out and you can't level up the ones you do have it just it feels kind of bad um it feels kind of bad um but yeah it's definitely got got that mobile game feel to it but like the shooting is mostly nice there's certain quirks with it that i don't really like um but for the most part the the shooting's pretty nice 
Um, I like slower pace tactical shooters, um, which this does kind of offer. But again, there's a lot of stuff I don't really like too. But for some reason, it's got some charm there that's kind of keeping me hooked. But I also don't really have anything else I want to play right now. That makes me keep playing it too. But it would be nice to see him get a little, little deeper with the gameplay. Okay, I'm not super confident in this no death thing. Our team is kind of low level. Um, oh, they have a bunch of, oh wow. They have three level zero characters and a level one. We have two zeros, a four, and then I'm 15. That doesn't necessarily say anything. These guys could be super high level accounts with a brand new character that they're just leveling up. Um, crazy to see at the start here super low character levels see what happens All right, i tend to like to push this side so we're gonna go super hard this way contact put this guy up here can get up here. Oh, I don't know if he saw me or not. I'm hoping he didn't. Oh, multiple tangos. Oh, they definitely saw me. Oh god. Oh god. First aid kit. What a champion. Shit. Oh shit. Couldn't pick that up. Trying. Enemy oh! <laughs> that was spooky. That was friggin' spooky. Ah! That was spooky, dude. I was not expecting that last guy. I need ammo. That was spooky. Going that way. Let's see where the rest went. I'd love for them to shoot my decoy right now. Ports back there too. I need to get eyes on the rest. Fuck, that's not great. Good bad idea, but. Hi. Worried they're gonna flank this side. Are they behind us? What are those other shots? Enemy marksman. It's a medic. I don't know where their assault is. I just gotta find out where their salt is. Grenade, take cover! Woo wee! Woo wee! Is that my YouTube? Boom, you got. What a champion! You even know my YouTube already? Yeah, damn. I should probably get a command Deciding round. Uh, in chat for that, too. I need to not die. I need, I don't want to jinx myself, but I need to not die. I need to start working on this damn objective. I don't know if I want to go that way again. Hostile spotted. like 
in Narnia. Hopefully he's the only one back here. Goodness. I'm worried about that support coming this way. Fred, oh shit. Med excited. Nice. Far he went. Oh. Neutral position detected. There we go. That was a pretty good round. I should have recorded that for YouTube's. That was much smoother. I mean, did we win? No, we lost that. Wait, did we? No, we lost the one I recorded, right? Ten kills, a thousand damage. <laughs> Our team was there at least. Team team came by. They connected to the game. <laughs>